hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's only Omura again a content creator based in just nigeria so guys in today's video i'll be sharing with you eight businesses like eight profitable businesses that you can start with fifty thousand naira or less i know some of you have a certain amount of money at hand and you're thinking you're wondering you're what business can i venture into and i'm guaranteed to make money i got you covered because in this video i'll be giving you eight businesses that you can start with fifty thousand naira or less and you're guaranteed to make profit so if this sounds like something interesting to you ensure you sit back watch this video completely to the very end because i'll be going randomly with the businesses i'll be starting from in no ranking order okay so ensure you watch this video to the very end so without much waste of time straight into today's video so the first business on my list is thrift business okay thrift is an english name let me go to what you will understand okay okrika business like Okrika business is a very, very, is a profitable business if you know your way around it, okay? You don't have to stress yourself with importing it. Although, lately I've been getting messages, people asking me that they want to go into Okrika business, that is a thrift business, and they want to import US used clothes, UK used clothes. I understand all of that, okay? And you can definitely import them. But let me make something clear here. Okay? If you want to buy this um thrift clothes in bills you know they come in bills okay it's a kind of it has weight it has weight it is weighty if you want to buy them just ensure that you are using sea shipping to ship it to your country if you're in nigeria ensure that you're using sea shipping to ship it to nigeria because trust me trust me okay i'm re i'm really saying this from experience if you go and buy a bale of clothes, a bale of used wares, and then you decide to use air cargo to cargo it down here, I, I bet you you will not be making profit with it because the landing price will be overwhelming and you will not be able to make profit. Remember that clothes, all these thrift clothes, they come in bills and these bills, they are heavy. Yeah, they are heavy if you don't know. The full bills are heavy. So the best thing to do if you want to import them is to ensure that you use sea shipping. Just be patient with it and wait for it to arrive. If you know you, are, you don't have time for that, you just want to start your business now and then, please buy from major importers around. If you're in Lagos, yeah, if you, even if you are not in Lagos, you can visit Lagos and buy from these major importers. They can sell bail to you. Some it depends on the size of the bail. You have some at 40k, some at 70k, depend on the size of the bail and the type of wares that is contained in that bail. Okay, so trade business is a very profitable business. Let me tell you guys something. I I know of a vendor on Instagram that is selling thrift clothes, like thrift wares, like Okrika. That is what she sells on instagram and guys she is making sales but let me tell you one secret i noticed she's doing differently she has a packaging for her thrift wares she has a brand she, she what's that name okay if i remember the name i'll link it i'll just place it so you can just go visit her okay and maybe follow her page and see how she's running her own thrift business okay so she has um a brand name for her business she has packaging like you don't just buy um Okrika wears from here and she just ties it in the leather and gives it to you. No. Her wares, if you see them, as if when it comes, she usually um pay people to wash and iron these wares, these clothes. So they wash it and they iron it, then you know, put some scent to it, then package it, and then she has her brand packaging that she uses to sell. And guys, people are buying. Even people you don't expect to buy <laughs> thrift, they are buying, they are patronizing her. One reason why people, I think people go for um, Okrika Wears is that you might be lucky, they last long, yeah. You have quality ones. Apart from that, it is very rare for you to be wearing a particular wear and you just go outside and bump into somebody wearing the same thing it's very rare if that is okrika but you know if you're wearing if you're buying a new wear even if it's a turkey dress you are definitely going to see somebody having same dress either online or offline but once it's okrika like it is well to see somebody wearing exactly the same design the same type it is real that is why some people sometimes or most times 
prefer going to buy Okrika clothes okay so there are different ways you can brand your business see let me tell you something making money it's all about packaging how do you package yourself one and how do you package the product you're selling packaging matters a lot if you want to make money okay nowadays <laughs> people are not concerned with okay of course they are but just have it at the back of your mind that packaging will definitely elevate and uplift your business so my number one is thrift business so the number two is snacks business like snacks selling of snacks and i'm not saying you should go make snacks and start hawking snacks like no that aside what i mean by snack business is if you know you know how to make cake cupcakes okay you know how to make cakes you know how to make um snacks like donuts egg roll fish pie meat pie you popcorn is under snacks okay plantain chip is under snack chin chin is under snack you make all of this you can go supply to schools supply to churches that use it on sunday to um feed some of their sunday class children you can supply it to your offices yeah you can supply it to offices there's the way you package i don't know if you've come across package changing they package it in container okay transparent container then you label it with your brand name they sell this in supermarkets do you think the supermarkets are the, the supermarket owners are the one making those um those changing no they have suppliers they have people that are supplying it to them they have people that are making it and supplying it to them once again it all goes down to packaging how do you package how well do you package your product okay you can sell to school you can distribute to school all you need to do with your fifty thousand or less you can buy flour you can buy um butter oil and you are good to start you are good to go fifty thousand or less you can start your snout business the first thing is that you need to advertise obviously you need to go to these schools that you have in mind meet the the person in charge tell them okay i want to start um, supplying your canteen with snacks if they give you they go ahead fine if they don't give you don't be discouraged when the first school doesn't give you go ahead visit the next school visit the next one because you will definitely see someone that will tell you okay we'll get back to you and of course they'll get back to you go to churches that you know have sunday school classes go to supermarket visit supermarket talk to the manager tell them you can supply snacks this is how you package like people are interested in your packaging note that ensure you package even the one you're selling to schools put it in a in a in a transparent leader seal it there are leaders you can seal some of you will be like oh i don't have sealing machine i don't have money to buy sealing machine there is this pressure sealing sealing machine this handy one okay i'll make a video on that because that thing is hot selling somebody imported it and she is making money with it i'll make a video i have it in mind to make video so i'll create, I'll create time and make video on that thing there's this um pressure sealing machine very light very portable you will just use it and seal up um the the tip of your nylon or the tip of your leader or anything you're doing anything that has to do with leader you can use it to seal it up you can put your brand name on it look for a label put your label your phone number when people buy they like it they'll definitely call you because your number is there when you just know how to market yourself your business create flyers post it on your social media pages on your whatsapp status your instagram page your facebook business account post your flyers there in fact you can go out distribute it around if there are people preparing for birthday tell them you can make um you can make snacks for them you can make cookies for them you can make um even if you're not good with cake, okay, leave cake aside. But you're good with these small, small cupcakes, your donuts, your meat pie, and the rest of them. They will contract you. Even some families, there are families that usually or they often buy snack in quantity, like chin chin, they buy it in quantity. You can make it and deliver to them and they pay you for it. You're good to go. You are making your money with snack business. Stop looking down on snack business. Stop. Popcorn is one, one should i say um money well or something like popcorn business is a business that you can go into with less than fifty thousand naira, and you are definitely going to make money if you don't have money to go buy that um popcorn machine you can use this popping pot you can buy that one you can start with it buy the popping pot pop 
pack your um, pop your popcorn then you package it with your brand packaging you put in your label and you distribute snack business is lucrative it is profitable just know how to brand your business make your brand look attractive and you are good to go so that is the business number two that you can go into with 50,000 naira or less. The next on my list is jewelry business. Jewelry business it is very is very very profitable. Reason is that ladies ladies we love our earrings, we love our necklaces, we love our bracelets. So jewelry business is a very very profitable business. If you don't want to import you can do local arbitrage, look for major importers around, buy from them, you resell all you need to do if you need your packaging it like when a customer orders orders for bracelets earrings necklaces you package it in something something unique package it you can even put your your label across it deliver it to your customer just ensure that your packaging is good your packaging is attractive okay just guys i cannot overemphasize the importance of packaging in your business Packaging is very very important. So think about it. Jewelry business is a business that you can venture with 50 You can go into with 50,000 era or less and you're definitely going to make money So the next on my list is human hair business like you already know that you already know that human hair business is a very very profitable business Okay, human hair business is a very profitable business that you can venture into you can import quality hair you can make import hair you make wigs with it and you resell you can you can make up to five thousand naira from a single hair yeah you can make up to five thousand naira from a single hair so human hair business is a very very profitable thing because these days just as i said in one of my previous video ladies don't have time to go and sit the whole day in the salon trying to make their hair most of them are on low cut most of them are trying to grow their natural kinky hair so they need something to cover it up that is where you come in as a human hair vendor just know how to package advertise yourself you will definitely make sales use your social media platform to drive traffic okay to your store you are definitely going to make profit so the next on my list is mini importation business why i included this is that there are different products you can import just as we have here in this channel i've given you some hot in demand products some trending product that you can import and make money there's one that is really selling now which is the nylon sealer that pressure nylon sealer you can use it to seal nylon your chin chin nylon your do not nylon you can use it to seal it up okay so nylon sealer is a product you can import it is very very cheap okay when you go to one city it is alibaba it is very very cheap we have the um teeth whitener we have some health products okay that you can really import and you make money you can import it with fifty thousand naira. i know some of you will be like how okay how with the with the cost of with the exchange rates and you get me i get what you're saying exchange rate is high that is i know that but it depends on the product you're going for if you're going for a product that has less weight if you're buying like the nylon sealer you can decide to try it with 10 or 20 10 or 20 should cost you nothing more than ten thousand naira, and then you're importing it highest it depends on what your shipping company is charging you then with the exchange rate dollar is 500 naira if not more than 500 naira per dollar so you convert it just ensure you calculate you do your calculation before going ahead to import there are different hot in demand product that you can really import and you are definitely going to make money okay so that aside the next on my list is makeup artistry like you know how to make you know how to do makeup you know how to you know how to paint faces let me leave it that way okay you know how to paint face you know how to do your makeup girl babe you can make money with that guy yeah guys are uh, makeup artists these days you can make money with that there are people that just want to go to the studio and take pictures they really want they really need somebody to help them with their makeup you go there you charge them like there is one studio i visited some time back there is a makeup artist always present in that studio like whenever you come the person will approach you okay she can help you with your makeup so that you look good like the way she will convince you even if you don't want to do anything on your face you will go in for it and at the end of the day she's charging you 5k imagine that okay 10 people visit that studio a day and at the end of the day she's able to convince five 
to to do the makeup she's able to convince five then multiply five multiplied by five is already twenty five thousand in a day so if you're a makeup artist or if you're not you feel you don't know how to do it you can practice you can go offline and learn it go and pay somebody to teach you or you can just learn it here on youtube we have tons and tons and thousands of youtube videos that has to do with makeup start watching start learning start practicing when you're good you know you can do it on somebody and it will come out nice start making money with it yeah so the next is fabric business this is a business you can start with fifty thousand naira or less okay if you don't want to go for the bigger all those big fabric you can start with plain and pattern fabrics you can start with uh this um cutting fabrics you can you will get from wholesalers, you get some of them, the main cutting fabrics, that is the high target fabrics, you get it at 48, 5000, 48, 5000 or 52, depending on the type, okay? When you import this, you can sell it with 500 naira profit or more. If you have people that are preparing for wedding, you advertise to them, they can, they can contract you to supply the ashwe bees with Ankara and you make your money, you just hit money on that guys you should know this you don't need millions of naira to make money start with what you have at hand that fifty thousand naira you have saved somewhere you have in the bank you have at home start doing something with it let me tell you something you save money saving that money doesn't make you rich it's when you invest it you increase it you increase the worth that is when it makes it begins to multiply in turn making you rich just saving it there it remains 50. saving it will not change it from 50 to 100. it is when you invest it that it is likely to increase okay it's like likely to appreciate so you need to invest your money. These are businesses you can start with 50,000 or less. If you have 30,000, you can go into some of them. If you have even 10,000, you can go into some of them. So just check which one favors you um, based on what you have at hand and go for it. So the last on my list is farming business. Okay, farming business. You can start with crop farming. You can start with um, animal farming, which is animal husbandry. We have poultry. Just imagine the um, how much a crate of egg costs these days. Around one five, or in some places they said it's one six one seven, but where I am here, it's one five. Now you have po you have just a small poultry farm, and you have eggs. Just I know at first you will sacrifice some penny to buy feed and the rest of them, but note that the physics of your poultry is not wasting. You're selling it. You're selling the the feces. You're selling the feces. You're selling the eggs. You're selling the the, the chicken at the end of the day. So nothing is going. Nothing is wasting. Everything is money. So if you're going to poultry business, you're definitely going to make money. You're going to fishery. You are definitely going to make money. You're going to rabbit business, just rabbit farm. You are going to make money. Yeah. If you don't want to do the animal parts, go for the crop type. This is rainy season for crying out loud. During the rainy season, you can start farming even in your compound. You have that small space. Put something there. If it's maize, you can plant. You plant your maize. If it's potatoes, if it's just granite, put something down. You don't have that space in your home or in your house to go to waste. If it is um, spinach, you plant spinach. That's why you don't need too much work. Okay, you don't need too much work. If it's yam, it's cocoa yam, just start farming. That is how you start. Start farming business. So, and another one that just came to mind now, okay? It just came to mind now, and it's look crazy. It's skincare business. You know how to mix different skincare products. With 50,000 naira or less, you can go buy materials for your skincare business. Start mixing creams, mixing oils. You know how to make coconut oil. You know how to make carrot oil, turmeric oil, lemon oil. All these essential oils, people would definitely patronize you once your product is good and the packaging is good as well. So if you know how to mix, you know how to mix um different hair, different hair creams, face cream, body creams, and the rest of them, you are definitely going to make money. Okay, just relax, practice it the more. If you're not sure if you can do it perfectly, practice the same mix perfect. So practice it the more, practice what you can do. 
and start doing it no time for dulling this hustle gas pay it's is surely going to pay so guys these are the businesses that you can start with 50,000 naira or less so if you enjoyed this video to this point please give this video a thumbs up like this video share it subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that and i will see you in my next video bye for now